Hey everybody, I'm out in the saw shop today, just, uh, I'm working on this, I'm working on this, I'm going to tear this down again for about the hundredth time, <laughs> and look at that oiler, and uh, yeah, just kind of go through it and see what's going on with it, so anyway, let's, uh, let's tear it apart, hope everybody's doing good and having a great day. Um, yeah, so I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of tinkering around today. I thought, well, let's just bring you, bring everybody along. See, Welcome. And thank you to the all the new subscribers and to everybody that supports this channel and everybody that supports this channel and everybody that supports this community and and uh, yeah and wants to help help things be better if you're new here welcome I appreciate it and I hope if nothing else if I'm not working on a saw or chopping wood or you know cutting firewood or whatever if I'm not doing that um, I, I hope that um, I hope that I can put a smile on your face because <laughs> that's really why I'm here you know, it's it's not like a how-to, you know, I can show you how I do it. And I'm sure there's, you know, there's nine million better ways to do things. But, I'm not here to show all that. You know? I like to have fun. I can be serious, but my life, uh, I'm, I'm here to have fun. I'm on, I'm on YouTube to have fun and, and to bring some, uh, bring some happiness to, to, uh, to everybody out there that decides to watch my channel. And decides to watch my videos. It's all awesome, awesome support. I love it. Oh, yeah. Look at that nice sun shining in here. Oh, yeah. Boy, it's a beautiful day today. It is beautiful. There's a bolt inside the oil pot that holds it holds this end of the top cover on. So that's what I'm taking off. Some of these have an oil pump that you don't have to take the top off of. But this one is not one of those saws. The top cover has to come off. And when I get the oiler off here, I'll show you why. Some oilers have one bolt that hold it in. And then they have a spring thing down here on the bottom of it. That holds the tension against it. So it makes it pretty nice. 
so you don't have to do all this. You don't have to take the carburetor off. You don't have to take the top, whole top of the saw off to get to the screws that hold the oil pump in there. This happens to be one of those saws. So that's done. <coughs> that is done. Yeah, it's a super nice day. Figured why not? I might as well open up the door and let the sun shine in. Right? Yeah, those oil pumps that you just take that one bolt out. Then you just gotta take that front cover off your oil pot and you're you're golden. Get that fuel line off there. Turn that a little bit sideways. Disconnect that. Carburetor's out of the way. <coughs> Loosen the fuel cap a little bit so the fuel stops draining out. What is that? Fuel draining out. And we'll just put that right in there like that. Set that there. And we'll take this. Uh oh. <laughs> I know a lot of you have already seen this done a hundred times, but some people haven't. Some people might want to know what it takes to get one of these apart. Or just hang out here in the saw shack with me. Right? Okay, now that those two bolts are out. For this clip here, the deal that holds the center down. So we've taken off the bolt that holds the front of this top cover on. And now we've taken the two that hold the center on. And now, we'll take the one off that holds the back of it on. And that is, if you're looking in the box, in the air box, it's the one that has your serial number tag on it, or where the serial, na serial number tag used to be. If you have a saw that doesn't have the serial number tag, this is a serial number tag right there, right? Yeah, some saws have them, some saws don't. Some of mine have them, some don't. <coughs> the ones that have been real, real disconnected from parts <laughs> and made from other part saws, uh, some of mine don't have that tag. Get 
take the side cover off. So you can disconnect the kill switch button on the coil. That's disconnected, that's disconnected, and this you just pick up, pull back a little bit, disconnect this little, the oil plunger, this thing, this rod right here, goes right here in this, this is the manual oiler that you push a button and that plunges it and all that and whatever, right? So we'll set that out of the way, over there, just like that. Bingo bango, wango tango. Check all your other stuff while you're at it. And then, right here, one, two, three screws. Hold that oil pump in. plenty tight that's for sure Ooh. I'm gonna have to find a new screw when I get that one out I can tell We might have to get the impact driver. Okay, we got him broke loose. We're going to have to replace that screw. They had them in there plenty tight, that's for sure. <laughs> Gotta worry about the gasket leaking on that deal. I know that ain't what was going down. And do those three screws. Wiggle it out of there. Okay, so now see this one. This this pump here, see that? Oh yeah, you can see that great. Okay, so this slot here allows the air to pump. It allows the, the pressure, the pulse from the cylinder going, piston going like this. It pumps that there's a there's a well it's a piston pump in there okay anyway right here on some of the other pumps there's a hole right here there's a hole right here okay and that's where the screw goes is right here in this hole well this one doesn't have that See, there's no place for a, there's no place for it right there. It's not this bolt hole. On the other ones, it's a bolt hole that's right here, where the bolt goes in, and then there's a tension spring that hooks down here that puts pressure on the bottom of the tank that holds it in there, and that's what, all that holds it in there. This one has bolts that come in. These three bolts that come in from the top of the oil pot down into this that hold this on, right? See, and, and what I don't understand 
is that it's pumping. It's pumping right now. Watch this hole right here, this one. Can you see that? It's pretty shiny. See it pumping? So it's working, but when it's in the saw, it won't pump. It makes no sense to me because that's how it's supposed to work. <clears throat> it pulls oil in through this hole. And when you run your manual oiler, when you run the plunger with your thumb, it pulls oil, it pushes oil through here. And then it goes through all this system down here and it goes through the little ball valve down in, and down in this part that this is hooked to that this screw adjusts uh, in and out for the amount of oil that comes out. It goes in this hole, and then when this pumps, it pumps oil out that. And you can see it right now. See it running down there? See that? It's pumping oil. But when I put it in the saw, it doesn't work. The gasket is tight. There's no... There's no air leaks because I've taken it and I've had it on the saw and I put this in a pot and I've had the oil tank full and I've pumped it, pumped it, pumped it, pumped it and no air comes out around the gasket. So the gasket's not leaking. It's not putting oil in the, and oil's not going into the cylinder because all the times that I've run it, if it had oil going, bar oil going in the cylinder, you would see that thing smoking like crazy. It smokes some now, but it, it would be smoking like crazy. So anyway, that's where we're at on that deal. Do you? But you guys all saw it. You all you you all saw it. You all saw it pumping oil, right? You want to see it again? Here, look. See, it's clean. Watch. And that's with zero pressure. I'm not, you know, I'm not going nowhere fast, that, nowhere near as fast as that cylinder is going back and forth in there, creating a pulse, right? Push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull is what runs that piston. <laughs> it's pumping oil like crazy right here and I haven't even added any and it's still pumping that much oil out of the whole system right I, I, I'm um if if you've been following along with this you'll understand why I'm a bit baffled you know because I've, I've talked to many people try this do this try it I've tried it all I've tried it and I and I just showed you I just pulled this thing right out of the saw this is the one that came right out of that saw right you saw it right here, first hand. Bang. And it pumps oil when it's out of the saw. I can't figure, I don't know. I can't figure it out. Anyway, so <clears throat> the dilemma continues with the Super 1010. I know there's been a lot about this Super 1010, but hey, it's what I got going on. And I thank everybody for coming along and for watching and for participating, commenting. Supporting, helping each other, everybody, you know, helping other channels out. Yeah, and don't forget, don't forget, when you're filing, get the gullet, right? And then, she'll cut, eh? <laughs> yeah. All right, everybody, take care. Be safe. We're going to, uh, I'm going to, we're going to go out here. It's we're going to go out here, a little bit of scenery for you today. Awesome. All right, everybody. Take care. Be safe. Help each other out. Love one another. Go out of your way to help somebody today. All right? And tomorrow.
Love y'all. Take care. Be safe. Tasman is rolling. Oh yeah. Be kind. Thanks, Bucking. Love you, brother.